CFB. When Victor's eligibility is up, I may just be replaced here at the spelling bee by Victor. Now, it's not all work and no play here at the bee, as you can see, but for all of these spellers, they know that there is the ultimate payoff for all of that hard work. Not only is there this engraved trophy that goes to the winner, but also a $30,000 cash prize, $2,500 in U.S. savings bond, and a reference library from Merriam-Webster, as well as over $1,200 worth of reference works from Encyclopedia Britannica. Now, Chris, I may be the only one up here old enough to drive, so I'm guessing nobody's looking to spring for a car, but I'll bet they've all dreamed about what they would do with these winnings. Currently, Ford won with $30,000 plus bragging rights for life. Paul, you were top 13 finisher. Did you ever put those to use? Only when people ask you, I don't know. That's all the time. <laughs> Ardoise. Ardoise, definition please. Ardoise is a grayish purple. Um, can I have the language of origin? Ardoise is from French. Um, can I have the sentence please? The large Artois bruise on Tom's leg reminded him of the sensation of flying he had enjoyed moments before his crash landing. Um, alternate pronunciations, please? Just the one, Artois. Artois? Artois. Is it the language of origin? It's from French. That's Artois. What's the closest definition? Artois is a grayish purple. Ardoise. So Ardoise. Ardoise. Do you think I'm saying it right? Ardoise. As best we can tell. Okay. Ardoise. Ardoise. A R D O I S E. Ardoise. Correct. I think she was pretty sure of that all the way, and that was a classic French pronunciation. Boys are very fired up. Sometimes you get those words from French to English, and they change that traditional French pronunciation. It can throw you. Well, she finished a time for 12th last year. Here's Hannah Jackson. Hi, Hannah. Inquinate. Inquinate. May I have the definition, please? Defile, corrupt. May I have the language of origin? Latin. Inquinate. Does this come from the Latin root in meaning of? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, may I have part of speech? Inquinate is a verb. Could you use it in a sentence? Not wanting to inclinate her success, Marietta managed to refrain from sticking out her tongue at Gabby after she won the hopscotch match. <laughs> it all cut down. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Just the one. There's inclinate. Inclinate? Inclinate. So she try to double the consonant. She doesn't need to. I think that'll be the question here. She's already been here two times before. Inclinate. She knows what this is like. Um, Inclinate. I N C U I N A T E. Inclinate. Inclinate is spelled I N Q U I N A T E. Thank you. Thank you. No surprise there, but she didn't recognize the Latin root for Philip, and maybe that's just because she keeps her mind out of the gutter. She's been an impressive competitor here for three years. Tough to see her go out like that. Our next speller is Mark Kimmackey from Edina, Minnesota. Ebolition or ebolition. Ebolition. Can I have a definition? The act, process, or state of boiling or bubbling up. Ebolition. Ebolition, as in the witch tended to her toenails while she waited for the for the potion to reach ebolition. Can I have the language of origin? Ebolition is from Latin. This is one of those important ones. Ebolition. E B U L L I T I O N. Ebolition. Correct. It's important to recognize this is an abolition. This is abolition. They recognize the same root as the word abulin. Could you put that? Well done. Definitely this first year here as well.
Faris Khan from Columbia, Missouri. Hi. Amontillado. Amontillado. May I have the definition, please? Amontillado is a pale, dry sherry. Amontillado. Amontillado and Amontillado. May I have the language of origin, please? It's from Latin derived Spanish and a Spanish geographical name. Amontillado. A M O N T I L L A D O. Amontillado? Correct. Those extra pronunciations took all the doubt out of Ferris's mind there. Spanish is a pretty consistent language. Double consonants are rare, except for what you just saw, the double L. And when you hear those alternate pronunciations, think about that tortilla and quesadilla, except for flotilla or armadillo at that time. You heard all three variations, and he was able to knock it down. Good job. Very impressive by Ferris. I also want to note, he scored 160 on Flappy Bird. Many kids at home will find that impressive <laughs> as well. Let's move on to Jade Simon. I'm Jay. Subdulus. Subdulus? Subdulus. May I have the definition? Somewhat sly, crafty, cunning, artful. Subdulus. As in, the subdulus excuses of his friends led Craig directly into their devious trap, a blind date. Subdulus? Subdulus. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Hard to tell. Say it again. Subdulus. It'll come down to that second syllable. Native yeah, language of origin, please. It's from Latin. And may I have the part of speech? Subdulus is an adjective that gives it the ending. But what about the middle? Do you recognize your group? Is he just going to guess what makes it the middle? Yeah. Somewhat sly. Crafty, cunning, artful. Subdulous. S U B D I L O U S. Subdulous. Subdulous is spelled S U B D O L O U S. That's a good guess, and maybe the Latin derivation missed that. Now, a lot of times in Latin, you see that I connect, but Dolus was the root. He could have recognized for fraud. Well, the spellers make the pilgrimage here to the Washington, D.C. area once a year, hoping to bring home that trophy and $30,000 plus prizes. 42 still have the chance to do it.